In today's video, we are going to be breaking down some Madden 21 film study. This is where I take a look at pro players, talk about what they're doing, why they're doing what they're doing. And then today, we are taking a look at a $1,000 Players Lounge tournament with Jay Wall versus Drini. Now, both of these guys are um, really, really good players. Drini's a uh, belt winner. Jay Wall's uh, represented really well with the Patriots Club Series a few years ago, or a couple of Maddens ago and has always been a really, really good player. So uh, in this video, again, we're just going to be breaking down the film and uh, and we're going to talk a little bit about what they're doing, why they're doing it. Now, again, my channel is devoted to helping you get better at Madden. One of the things that I really believe in is that you can learn a lot from other people. That's why this series exists. So we're going to jump right into it. Both of them are, uh, we got um, Drini as the Chiefs, J Wall as the Niners. So starting out here, uh, Drini is going to hit these out routes. Now we're going to take a look here. It's going to be really interesting to make sure as we're watching this, what the meta is uh, as, as I'm going to load up a little bit higher quality for you here. So it uh, looks like J Wall is in dollar three, two, six. Again, this is Madden 21 players lounge tournament. Drini is running bunch. You see, we got some man coverage. Got a little bit of man zone hybrid here uh, early on that motion slant there with the trail route love the trail route this year against man to man and you see Drini's going to get out of there with the homes has that escape artist on his quarterback such an important uh feature for this now again guys if you're trying to get better at madden be sure to jump in my discord my discord is the best place really to get access to everything so you can click on the link in the description below here he goes with a little cover two beater you see j wall is running cover two on the outside and uh you're gonna see here that cloud flat just is not going to take that little seam uh, seam away from Tyreek Hill. Drini with the dot right over the top. Good read by him. Drini, uh, more of a pass for this year than he was um, last year, I feel like, because he was a little bit more run meta. Drini is such an adaptive player, always shifting with the meta. Here, J Wall does go to man. Love that. He's going to have to cover Mahomes with himself. He forgot to put a spot on the field. If you're going to run man and you're going to face the Kansas City Chiefs, you got to have a spot on your field, in my opinion. Uh, second and five here. Brings up this good situation right here. Now, again, Jay Wall is showing man-to-man -man coverage. He's doing some hybrids with his curl flats, right? These are these are all the standard adjustments. Now, you see here, Drini's doing a good job, I think, of sending out multiple people on routes. Able to hit the crosser there to Tyreek Hill. The Chiefs are so good against man because they're so fast, it really opens up the, the offense. All right, so first and goal to goal. Now, this is where the Chiefs' speed is not really that big of a deal. And you're going to see Mahomes get out of the pocket here. Almost throws a laser in the back of the end zone right there. Just missed on that read. But you'll see here, uh, again, dollar, three, two, six for Jay Wall. Basically running dollar and just adjusting out of it, running some cover two, running some cover two man. Uh, not seeing any big time pressures yet from him. Drini goes with a little run just to try to test him. Brings up a third and six or a third and goal to goal from about the six yard line. Uh, I love the fact that Drini's got bunch trail. I think uh, Drini's running the Seattle bunch, which right now I think that's probably the best bunch in the game. In fact, we're actually going to be breaking that down in our live stream tonight if you haven't already uh, hit one of my live streams up. I love this read right here, um, or love the route combinations, but he misses the read. J-Wall does get the pick. Now, I do this a lot in the red zone. So what you're going to see is he's going to bunch trail. I believe bunch trail. Or no, it's a Z spot and go. He's taking Tyreek, putting him on the slant, comes across, and J-Wall with the pick. Lurking right in the middle there. And J Wall might be able to get out of here. Does a little stop and go move. Able to get out of there. And um, see if he gets in there. Nope. All the way back to the 20. Now, trips tight in is a big, big, big offense this year, in my opinion. It's one of the better offenses. So you're going to see here Drini uh, cycling through his defenses here. Um, looks like he's in a 3 4 base playbook, nickel normal. Looks like he's running the nickel normal defense. Um, off the start here with Chris Jones. He's got nickel normal and nickel 335. I personally think nickel 335 is the best defense of the game. If you want to pick up my ebook I have out on it, it is in the description of this video. That's my Madden 21 competitive bundle guide. So he's cycling through, getting all set up here. We're going to go ahead and skip forward a little bit in this. So this is a first down play call. So you see here, Drini's doing some bluff blitzing technique to get three wrecks out there. I love that. Um, making that, turning that zone into a really a nice little uh, shell. Again, the three rec hooks are so, so powerful in Madden. Every single year, they're probably the best yellow zone because they just play certain things. Looks like he's coming out. Tampa 2, probably going to drop these cloud flats off back in the back. And right here, J-Wall is going to use that new audible adjustment. This is what a lot of people are liking to do with the Niners. Basically, you come out 
in a spread set or passing set. You're able to audible down if you have those fast running backs at wide receiver. Shaywell does have that. He's going to come down, run stretch, and see there Tevin Coleman with a good, quick pickup. Again, you know, you see someone in pass defense. That's why, in my opinion, the nickel 35 is so important because it's a little bit better at stopping the run, and you can audible to nickel normal or to nickel 335 wide. So, again, trip side in for Jaywall. You see he's got his running back over here so he can audible down. There he does bring that I formation audible down, bringing Raheem Mostert into the backfield here. 95 speed Raheem Mostert, if I remember correctly. We're in an I form close. Now Drini's got to adjust to a little bit of a more of a run-based uh, scheme. Able to hit that quick flat to Raheem Mostert, and Jaywall sets himself up right nice here to be able to go in. Now, again, you see that trip side in. Trip side in right there. Now going down to eye close. Love that audible setup there from, from J Wall. Nice little scheme here. Dreamy's gonna go to some run defense, but doesn't able to is not able to stop the stretch. And J Wall is gonna get out on top of one possession. So really J Wall is now out in front two possessions because he was on defense first. In Madden 21, that's gonna be significant. The games are gonna go so fast and offense is so good that it's really gonna matter um, what your possessions are and what you've got going on. There you see the jub double juke, what I've said to be the best ball carrier move in Madden NFL 21. And if you wanna check that video out, we're gonna link it above. So here, this might be Atlanta Bunch actually. Um, he's got some really, really good plays out of this out of this formation though. So uh, Drini going with these uh, stock fades here. Clear out SE out. This is what you're gonna do. If you're the Chiefs, using all that speed, he's got that motion slant. He's got the fades on the outside. You should see a lob streak. And oh, he's just missed it. So this is what Drini's doing. I wanna talk about this for just a second. So the man coverage meta, what a lot of people don't understand is you need to shade the coverage over top. And sometimes if you don't have a if you don't have a speed, if you have such a speed advantage, this is why the Chiefs are so good. Because you can run these stock fades, and if you have a speed advantage, it's a one-play touchdown. Like if Drini gets this catch right here, which he probably should have got that catch. Like that is an automatic dot. So you want to be weaving some of that into your into your uh, offense. And that's why I say, you know, if you want to be really good on offense this year, you really need to get fast wide receivers. Fast wide receivers are so important. Fast defensive backs are so important. Here you see going a little bit of a man beater. Now you're going to see Jay Wall is going to start running a lot of man. Um, he is able to hit that slant route, motion slant right over for um, about, uh, about 10 yards almost. Brings up a third down in inches. So you see that motion slant. J Wall is going to have to use that with man coverage. If you got those two fades going deep, and you have a speed advantage like Drini does with Tyreek Hill and McCole Hardman, you're using Sammy Watkins underneath. It's going to open up those underneath passing windows for you to be able to work here. Drini's going to go to bunch trail here. Love, love, love the fact that he's using tight end apprentice on Ty uh, Travis Kelsey here. You're going to see that motion over on that drag. Going to bring Tyreek Hill across now, and gonna open up some windows and right there this is a really really good play by Jay wall see the click on and in my opinion it's a really bad route combination by Drini because this year Jay wall is gonna click on to Sherman so right here he's trying to throw the ball to B you see B is wide open but he B is gonna come into this lane where Jay walls defender is coming across because again he's manned up Jay wall didn't really do anything to deserve this pick this is just a bad route combination by Drini if Travis Kelsey is on a slant route and not a post route, it's a dot. If he's on a smart routed post route that is going to go an inch and come over, it's a dot. But because he doesn't properly space his throws, you're going to see here, J. Wall is able to click on and it's going to give him the nearest person, which just so happens to be Richard Sherman. And Richard Sherman is able to lurk that, pick it off, and another lockup stop for J. Wall. My opinion, what you're seeing right now is J. Wall's defense really... I would say Drini's just made a couple bad reads and had some bad route combinations on the field. Again, when we talk about offense and Madden, it is all about your route combinations. It's not necessarily about your formation, not necessarily about your playbook. It's all about the route combinations that you put out there. You can run any formation, you can run any playbook. How do your route combinations work together? That's the question. So Jay Wall coming out and his famous trip side in. You see Drini's gonna do some man cross mannings, different things like that. Got that motion snap zig. He's got the curl route right there, but Jay Wall misses a read and is gonna have to is going to take a sack. Gun trips tied in here for Jay Wall. Again, it looks like Drini's gonna set his zone drops back to 25 yards. What you should see here is a shift. He should go to man to man. But we'll see what he does here. Staying in that Tampa 2, he wants these guys to drop back on those curl routes. That's his goal. And to take those crossers away. 
J-Wall now has the underneath to work. Great reads by J-Wall. If I'm Dreedy Shoes, I want to see him go to a little bit more of a man coverage to start, just to make just to just to see what Dream what uh, J Wall is going to do. Man coverage really controls the routes, and um, it, it really controls where they can throw and where they can't throw this year, um, more so than it ever has. So here you're going to see the hard flats out here. Those hard flats are going to drop back because of the zone drops, and you see Jimmy Garoppolo gets really bad pocket presence there by J Wall, in my opinion. But watch on this right here. So. So on this read right here, you've got these underneath guys wide open. These little curls. j -Well loves the curls. But right here, he tries to tries to get out of the sack, breaks the sack, and ends up, ends up getting swallowed up by the three-down lineman rush. And that's going to bring up a fourth and 16, and j -Well is going to have to punt this ball back to Drini. And we'll go ahead and advance up here. Might have a little bit of an ad here to deal with. While we're looking at this, guys, though, seriously, if you really want to take your game to the next level in Madden 21, one of the things I want to encourage you to do is to jump in our Discord because, again, I believe you're the average of the five people you associate with most. Shout out to my man Compton for posting these videos. But um, that is the best way to get around better people, better players. So uh, Drini's going to go to this little man beater right here. He's going to motion Hardman out. It's a C route. It does beat man to the outside. As long as that corner doesn't have an ability. But you'll see here, Richard Sherman sticks on it like glue. Drini's able to, or uh, j -Wall, another pick. Like, this is just bad reads. Like, look at the route combinations. We're trying to do the, I don't like this at all. J locking him up, j -Wall is locking him up with man coverage and a decent user over the middle. As you see here, Travis Kelsey is not open. This route's coming right into j -Wall's user. Drini throws it anyway, and it's a pick. Like, just not, not, not what you want to look, look at when you're running on offense this year. There's so many other ways, that you, better route combinations by Drini is what we need, uh, in my opinion. But that's just my opinion. Again, Drini's a great player, phenomenal player, but I haven't seen him run a ton of bunch um, recently. He did run bunch back in the day, but um, I just think those route combinations are not working right now. We need to we need to do something different. Drini is also going with a lot more zone. Now zones are interesting this year because while zones are um, backed off, not as good as they've been in the past, they jump better than the, than they ever have. So it's kind of a, a little bit of a trade off. Fifty eight seconds. If I'm J Wall, you've got to go up two possessions. It doesn't matter to me if I get a field goal or a touchdown. A touchdown would be great, but you've got to go up two possessions, in my opinion. And you see, he's just dotting them up right now. So we've got cover four. I like this defense from Genie Drini. Gonna use through the middle with Watts. I love this. I love cover four in the red zone. What you want to do is you want to shade these flats down um, so that they go the proper depth. But you'll see here, it looks like J Wall is running a little bit of clock. Again, that's what J Wall's thinking. Can I get this clock down? Gonna go to he's got four downs to be able to get the clock down. So if Drini doesn't get another possession, again, possessions are gonna be so important. There you see Drini does take a timeout. I'd like to see Drini take a timeout a step I'll play it before that. But because he's only leaving himself with 14 seconds. J Wall's coming out in goal line. Still in that two running back, two tight end set. Again, formation based audibling is really important this year. So Drini's coming out. I think this is uh, nickel 335, and j is going to go right in. Or no, that was goal line. But j is going to go right in and go up two scores at the half. See, Drini's going to have about 12 seconds. We'll just fast forward through that. So Drini's going gun bunch. He's got that corner route. But again, another pick from J-Wall. I mean, that, that should have been a pick. Like, this is just, you see J-Wall is literally just getting him with the zone drops. The zones are just dropping back here. And, and you know, it's a miracle that wasn't intercepted. All right, so 13-0 right now for J-Wall. Getting back into this streak play. He's got the zig, doesn't take it. Players up and in right here, you know, this kind of garbage time at the end of the half, just trying to get something deep. So Drini's gonna get or J Wall's getting ball up two touchdowns. If now again, if J Wall is smart here, 
you you because of the fact that he was only six up six you want to you you want to get a little bit um in my opinion you get a touchdown here the game's over so that's just my opinion um with especially with the way drini's been playing on offense drini's 335 is okay um i just don't i just don't know why he's not running man coverage but anyway jay wall is going to come down into eye close drini's going to a max run defense out of this trying to shoot the gaps not really there um and jay wall honestly guys i think in jay wall's mind it's like can i get this game over with how can i get this game over with probably going to go into chew clock mode um take everything take all the time in the world right you have all the time in the world to get through this but you'll see here cover four quarters for Drini. And he's going to do a quick run here with Coleman. Gets up field. And it should be another run here. First and 10. Now, if you're J Wall, literally, you're taking all the clock. All the clock. Um, because the odds of Drini coming back right now, especially with the way his offense was, has been playing, and the fact is, like, he really hasn't stopped J Wall. He hasn't stopped his run. He hasn't really stopped anything J Wall's been able to do. Right there does get a, a block shed. Uh, but we'll jump ahead here to second 11. This is ball on the 38-yard line. Now, again, Drini's sticking with this pressure setup out of the nickel 55, trying to get some edge heat uh, from the corner. Does man him up. So now he's got a base rush, cross manning, of course cross manning, and j is able to hit Debo Samuel for a quick gain. And now j has really got things uh, rolling here. So first and 10. Trips tied in. We got man coverage across the board. Now Drini's wising up, going to man to man. Let's see what Jaywall does. Now I don't know if Drini shades his corners over top. If he doesn't shade his corners over top, Drini might or Jaywall might have a one play TD over top here to Samuel or to Boaster, depending on what Drini does. And you see here, he does have the one play touchdown to JJ Nelson. Going to take a twenty zip lead, and that is going to do it. So Jaywall really looking really good right now with these Niners again. It all comes down to the fact that that's why, in my opinion, the Chiefs can't be used in red rags head-to-head -head because their corners can't run the man scheme. That's why you saw Dream running so much zone, but zone is not as good as man, just the bottom line. So when you're playing mutt, this is why it's so important to have those really, really good, um, those really, really good corners, those really, really good um, players. So anyways, guys, that is our first film study of the year. Be on the lookout for more film studies. I love breaking down competitive Madden. I hope this video was helpful. And if you want to see me play Madden live and you want to text in any questions, you can always text me. My number's at the top left, 812-216-3644. Be sure to come by our live stream tonight. We're going to be streaming some Madden 21 action at 10 o'clock Eastern time. Looking forward to spending some time with you guys tonight working on how do we beat me in coverage, how do we get better, how do we take our game to the next level. And also, if you want to get my offense and my defense, you can pick those up below. That's my competitive bundle guide. Our update for that is going to be coming out this weekend got some pressures i want to finalize for you make sure everything's all cleaned up and good to go for you but really really good stuff on the way be sure to subscribe if you haven't but more importantly be sure to join the discord check out one of these videos about man 21 that's going to help you take your game to the next level help you beat man-to-man -man coverage and also help you run it better if you are trying to run the man-to-man -man defense all right we'll see you guys tonight at 10 o'clock